Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so the chapter actually opens up by again showing us a reveal of Hermit's Overdrive, which they do by giving us the last page of last week's chapter as the first page of this one. But anyway, after we get the reveal of her beautiful Overdrive, we see the two of them going right into their fight, and we see that Hermit very clearly has the advantage over Killer, and it's pretty easily knocking him around. Then, while we see the two of them are fighting, we also cut over to Sister, and we end up finding out that she was actually watching their fight go down, got distracted, and then when she finally decides to pay attention to the clown and try to fight him, he kind of vanished, so she goes running throughout the ship in order to try to figure out where he went. And this actually ends up happening later on in the chapter, but she finds him in the bathhouse area, and it's kind of just setting up that the two of them are going to be fighting there, and we kind of get a reveal of a new power that he has, or a new ability that we never knew about, that he can apparently turn water into poison. So I'm wondering how that's going to end up playing into their fight, but the reason why I'm talking about this now is because I kind of have the feeling that since Sister separated herself from Hermit in her fight, that this might mean that Sister might actually end up losing her fight against Clown, which will most likely mean that she will end up dying during this fight. And the only reason why I think that is because of the fact that we know that Shiki at some point has to download Clown's memories. And unless there's a way for Shiki to travel over to the circus dimension that Clown fought against Rebecca in, that would mean that Shiki and Clown actually had to come face to face with each other. And since I don't see Shiki going back to the Eden Zero ship for any reason, I think that means that Clown has to leave the ship and he's not going to do that until he kills Sister. He's not going to care about Hermit. Hermit is Killer's target, but he's not going to leave that ship until he kills Sister, which ultimately does end up supporting my theory that Hero plans on killing off the original Shining Stars and replacing them with new members of the team, which by the way, I don't hope happens. I actually do like Sister and Hermit and I hope they end up surviving this arc, but more than likely because of the fact that Shiki does have to come in contact with Clown in order to download his memories, more than likely it's going to come down to basically Sister losing her fight and dying. Unless we find out in the next chapter that when they go to get Rebecca, he's actually being held in Clown's Dimension. And then pretty much for the rest of the chapter, we're focusing on the fight between Killer and Hermit. And like I said earlier, Hermit is decimating Killer during this fight. But what we end up finding out is that this is actually an illusion that she's fighting against that Killer set up in order to sneak attack her from behind. Which was a little weird because we don't get to see him in his overdrive in this illusion. So it makes me wonder, does he actually have an overdrive? Or was that just something he set up in order to kind of trick her and scare her? And make the fight a little bit easier for him to win but anyway he actually ends up attacking her from behind and he plugs some like kind of virus into her and he's planning on making her change instead of killing her he's planning on making her change size over to being a dark star but and i fucking love hero for doing this because it kind of just shows that Herman is overall a troll but we end up finding out that the entire time the killer was watching the illusion of himself and hermit fighting against each other that apparently Herman was actually behind him the entire time and she had placed him under an illusion so that he was watching an illusion of her fighting against an illusion of himself and thinking that he actually had the advantage. And by the time the killer figures out what's happening, it's too late because Herman just knocks him out with one punch ending the chapter. So yeah, we start and finish the fight between Herman and Killer in this chapter. And again, I think the reason why we actually get through this fight pretty quickly is because we're going to spend more time on the fight between Sister and Clown. And ultimately, I think because Shiki has to come in contact with Clown unless he can find his way over to the dimension that he fought against Rebecca in, which they still had to find Rebecca. They only found Wise in this chapter, so Rebecca's still out there. Maybe that could actually be the way to actually get over to that dimension that she's being held there still and they had to find a way to break into it. But anyway, unless they end up finding a way over there, Jiki and Clown actually had to come into contact in order for that to happen. Clown has to kill Sister. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading the next chapter because I want to see how the fight goes down between the two of them. I'm again hoping that Sister doesn't actually end up dying. I hope my theory is wrong and that Hero doesn't actually want to kill off all four of the Shining Stars and he's kind of satisfied with killing off just Valkyrie and uh, Witch. But my gut tells me that Sister's going to end up dying in this arc. But here's hoping I'm wrong. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to reading the next chapter. We're almost at chapter 200, which is kind of crazy to think that we're this far into the series, but we are. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing what ends up happening in the 200th chapter. I'm hoping that actually ends up being a chapter that we get to see Shiki and Ziggy coming face to face and starting their fight. But we'll see that when it comes to it. Anyway guys, that's it for the chapter, that's it for the review. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.